Hello and welcome to the show. We start today with Giz571 on the crew with a monster Fiat. Now I was expecting something to go wrong as we go around the loops. As the wheels, well they do kind of sink through the terrain. But no, the Fiat made it all around them without any problems. Unfortunately, slightly bumping into a ramp gets the car fired out at some 500 and something kilometers an hour and launched well clear of the arena. These arenas are definitely not something to be messed around with. As Rubber Trail finds out, try to drive a Lamborghini uh, around here. Probably not the greatest of vehicles to, uh, to go experimenting with around here, as sure enough, the floor eats it. And the Lamborghini is well and truly... Yeah, you're not going anywhere. The, the floor, floor has claimed the Lamborghini, and it is going to be uh, left up there as a warning to all other non-monster trucks that they shouldn't mess about with these arenas. Her phase lol guy is uh, doing some racing on the crew with a classic Mercedes, trying to catch up to second, carries that little bit too much speed, bounces off the wall, gets launched up by the concrete barrier, and is then well and truly stuck. I've seen quite a few cars landing on barriers and getting stuck, but no, this one managed to find a way to launch himself off of the concrete and then get stuck and is now slightly sliding backwards. Knight's Viper on the crew. Uh, AI uh, determined to take the lead at any means necessary, and sometimes that means firing a Camaro at some trees and then launching it up into space. They were not very patient AIs. Uh, whatsoever. Pity 94 with a drag racing Viper. Now the drag cars on the crew are really very, very stupidly fast. They'll hit well over 300 miles an hour. However, when you are doing said 300 miles an hour, sometimes little bumps, you know, like finding a tarmac road, can cause some issues for the vehicle as it gets launched who knows how far. Impressive flat spins from the Viper does all come back under control in one piece. LM145 on Forza 6, uh, the wonderful driver tars. Now, from time to time, they will make some silly mistakes, but this one here has got to be one of my favourite silly driver tar moments. Uh, it runs too wide out of the chicane at Nürburgring, have seen it happen a few times, and then promptly drives into the pit wall. However, this one is not contented with just ruining his own race. No, it must ruin the race of as many other vehicles as possible. Ferrari's doing a reverse donut in the pit lane entrance, and the Nissan is caused a mess. <laughs> <laughs> traffic jab. Just decided to block as many cars as it possibly could around that final corner. I think one of the Ferraris eventually helps him by kind of straightening the front of the car out. Good old driver tars, eh? Uh, up next, Mustang Bugatti on GTFI racing around the hills. The roads are quite narrow, quite dangerous, and sure enough, his elegy goes for a bit of a wall ride and then is well and truly parked. You are not going to be getting the car out of that. They completely and utterly Austin powers it and then gone and annoyed some pedestrians. They were not too uh, pleased, the AIs of GTA 5, about his, uh, his flying antics. Speaking of flying antics, Priuses are not exactly... The vehicle of choice I would go to, perhaps, for, for doing some stunts, but nevertheless, this guy tries, goes for a front flip, bounces it off the back of the car, then we get a double front flip with a twist, and again, lands it perfectly. It seems to be the the, the, the day of some perfect landings as Dog 20 also finds out. With a Dominator versus a Curb, the Curb definitely wins. Uh, Dominator goes for many a roll, but still lands and can get it going in the right direction very quickly. Uh, manual with clutch on GTA 5, I approve of the colour of of the jester uh, learns that police cars and phone booths are not a good combination as they get very very angry with one another and then the police somehow think that it was uh, <laughs> that it was his fault and now the police are after him as well uh, yeah i have no idea what uh, what went on there uh, slideways on need for speed underground 2 has found um, the foul race curb it seems, that uh, does not like the Audi being parked on it. I'm not sure if it's the curb or the car or the combination of the two of them, that uh, something gets very upset as the, <laughs> the car is just launched into the air off of uh, this particular curb. He goes around to have another look and gets the car stuck on the nose. Unfortunately, the game resets the car, but uh, that is a peculiar curb, I have, uh, I have got to say. Apoc Apollo on Project Cars I guess a very, very good start. He's making up uh, plenty of positions coming down towards turn one here. Often you can make up some loads of positions off the start. Like AI a little bit sluggish getting away from time to time. Tries to go to the inside. Three wide doesn't work as everybody loses a rear wheel. 
not a good start to a race when you are <laughs> when you are missing that a rear wheel on to a dirt rally next with a high speed 205 getting bounced and bounced and rolled and landing and still pointing all the right direction keeps his foot down and gets away with it without losing very much time i would assume in all of that yeah that's some pretty some pretty good landings uh, road duck 313 with a truck that thinks it's a, a rocket or a plane or wedged a tree and there we go we're going to launch it again and it, it, it wants to be anything but a truck, it seems, at this moment in time. Now the camera doesn't have a foggiest what to do. And then we're going to land on our side. I, I have no idea. It's, uh, it definitely did not want to be a truck. That is uh, that is for certain. It, yeah, I, I think repair is, is very much needed. And finally, Savage XS 2012 with the roll train going on in Wreckfest. This is just the AI trying to drive lawnmowers around a corner and everything is falling over. There's just <laughs> constant words going, next one, next one, next one. One spun out. It's very much like the roll train we tried on Forza 6. You just <laughs> they're all going around the corner and falling over and occasionally they manage to spin out. Uh, it's an impressive, an impressive corner, i got to say, with these... Uh... <laughs> <laughs> These lawnmowers, so many vehicles were out of the race at uh, that corner. Yeah, they did a pretty good job. They did a pretty good job at uh, getting a uh, roll train going on. Anyway, that is it for this episode. If you have clips you would like to submit to this series, then you can via our forums. There'll be a link in the description. At the very top of the page, there is the Faris Clip Submission section. In there, you can find all of the rules and how to submit them. But uh, that is it from me. Thank you very much for watching, and until next time, uh, goodbye.